Got a question the other day on will adding weight to your body during like jogging and cardio and stuff help you burn more fat? The quick answer is yes, but there's a big uh, asterisk with it. The reality is, of course, anything that makes you work harder will increase your caloric expenditure. That's why it's called the increase in caloric expenditure. Burning fat is not about making something happen. It, it's not a switch or something. When you are exercising and trying to lose body fat, all you're doing is you're taking a normal process that your body does every day, no matter what, and you are speeding it up. It's, that's what's going on when we increase caloric expenditure. And weight on your body will definitely do that. The question is, how do we do this in a safe way? The, the uh, way that used to be done is you hold little dumbbells, you have wrist weights, or you have like these ankle weights. And over the years, this has kind of fallen out of favor because a weight at the end of an extremity has a lot of what they like to call swing weight. So this kind of thing, repeated thousands of times in a cardiovascular setting, can bring some wear and tear onto the body, especially when you consider that you may be under a state of fatigue. So you can start running great, but after like a couple of miles or whenever, and you're kind of like this, your gait is changing, your foot strike is, is changing, how it's hitting the floor, the shocks going through your body are different. It's one of these things that could be more risk than worth it. And that's why usually when people are like, I wanna burn fat faster, how do I do this? I say, forget about the weight, and instead, either just go faster, <laughs> like people like, can't get a good workout on a bike, faster. <laughs> if you're going 10 miles an hour, try going 15. Second, incline. Mountains, hills and stuff, I mean, apologies if you live in Kansas, but that by far is the best calorie and fat burning tool on the planet. Nothing comes close to going up hills. You can find stadium steps, stuff. I do that all the time with clients here, where they're like Stairmaster machines and they can go all day, and I'm like, we're gonna run stairs today. And after like two minutes, they're completely gassed out. Because there's something about moving the body physically against gravity versus trying to weight it down or add resistance through some other means, like a, a resistance belt on an exercise bike, that's just very different and very humbling. So use weight central, like weight vests. I know I was critical about using it for push-ups and pull-ups earlier, but with uh, like adding a five pound weight vest and going up a mountain or something, that's gonna be a game changer for you. Not a huge fan of weight in the backpack. It's shifting around, it's sloughing around. I used to do that, I used to just, you know, doing this every time I'm running down Mount Mansfield, I got this plate jamming into my tailbone the whole time. So unless you can get it anchored and really tight to you, I say skip the weight and use incline and speed, definitely speed's going to be your better bet out of all of these variables. Questions down below, be fit, live free.